I don't know how much more that this, how much more loss that this community can take. Heather Taylor is a recovering addict, grieving the loss of three members of her community who have died from overdoses within the past two weeks in Greenfield. It hurts. Two of them had little girls. Two of them have children now that don't have a parent. Two of the three who died were found at recovery centers. They were fighting to stay sober and relapsed. We can't sit back while this is happening. We're losing too many people to this disease. Marisa Hebel is the head of the opioid task force. We've experienced real tragedies in our community in the last two weeks. And if we look at the last couple of months, we've had more in our region. Greenfield lost four residents to opioid overdoses in all of 2012, five in 2013. It does worry me. It does. This is more deaths than we've seen in, in recent years. And from what I'm hearing, this is um, things are on the uptick in, our, in, the, in the community. The amount of addicts is growing nationwide. According to the Centers for Disease Control, about 120 people die each day in the United States of a drug overdose. Heroin is cheap. It's available. Treatment and support found at organizations like the Recover Project. They find a purpose here. They find things to do that matter. What many believe will help tackle this growing issue, this disease. I got everything back. You know, in recovery, I got it all back, and I don't want to lose it again. Now, the Recover Project began in Greenfield, but is now in 10 different communities across the state. They're just one of many places people can go to find resources to get help. That information can all be found on our website. Live in the studio, Michelle Kingston, Western Mass News.